Hey everyone, Ramal here, and this is my setup tour for 2023. I know it's cutting it super close to the end of the year, but I really just wanted to share how the space has evolved since my last setup tour video. If you're new to this channel, I am a fully remote software engineer. I do all of my work in the space. I use it for gaming, I use it for sim racing, and I use it for content creation. There is quite a lot going on, and I'm really excited to share some of the bigger upgrades that I made this year, especially the triple monitor setup that I use for my sim racing rig, some of the audio gear upgrades that I made. And as you can tell, the layout already changed too. I will have links in the description down below for many of these products. Most of them will be affiliate links. Some will be just links to the products. If you do use the affiliate links, it does help out this channel. And yeah, there is a lot going on. So let's start with the layout. I had changed my layout quite a bit to fit my triple monitor setup for my sim rig. Previously, my desk and rig were both side by side against the back wall, but now I move my desk to the side wall and my rig is behind it, kind of where my desk previously was. I had to make sure that the rig was in a spot where my video cables that are about 10 to 15 feet would still be able to reach. The desk I'm using is still the solo riser from Progressive Desk. I haven't had any issues with the desk at all over the past couple of years that I've used it. I've moved it several times now and nothing has really gone wrong with the desk. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten casters to make moving the desk around a lot easier. If you watch my previous videos about the desk, you'll know that the one thing I did not like about it is the grommet hole. I did my best to cover it by putting the GoXLR on top of it, got the Vadir monitor stand just to completely get it out of sight, but it really just didn't work for me. Uh, this year I got into 3D printing and modeling, so I wanted to try and model something that I could use to cover it, but still remain a little functional. I really wanted something that just fit right on top of this grommet hole, so I tried to design this tray it's not the nicest looking tray, but it's functional. I even made a little hole for a MagSafe charger so I can put my phone on top of it and it'll charge with the MagSafe charger. A little section for my pen and then my knife. On the other side, it's just a flat piece that sits on top of the hole so that I can keep my audio stack on top of it. Right now, it's more function over form, which works well enough for me. For my computers, this hasn't really changed for me in 2023 as I didn't really feel the need to do a completely new build. The upgrade that I did is I went from a 2070 Super to the 3070 Ti for my triple monitors. I am still using a Mac Studio for my personal projects and to edit these videos and photos. And my work laptop is an M2 MacBook Pro that I hook up to my main monitor while I'm working. Both my computers are still hooked up to the same monitors, the Alienware AW3821DW and the Gigabyte Aorus AD27QD. And sitting on top of my monitor is still the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, as well as the Logitech C920. The biggest change in terms of what I have on my desk is probably the audio gear. Last year, I said goodbye to my trusty Go XLR and got something that I could use between both of my computers. And to replace the Go XLR, I got the Evo 4 audio interface. And this lets me use my Rode Procaster on both my setups with very minimal adjustment. This is plugged into my USB hub that switches between my Mac and gaming PC. To replace the mixer portion of the Go XLR, I upgraded my Stream Deck to the Stream Deck Plus so that I could use Wavelink. I thought I'd stream a lot more in 2023, but I didn't stream at all, but we'll see if that changes in the new year. For the rest of my audio gear, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the audio file rabbit hole. So to start myself with that, I got an all-in-one DAC amp, which is the SMSL C200. For the headphones, I got the Sennheiser HD6XX and the Hi-Fi Man Sundaras. I really enjoy listening to both of these and I will make a dedicated video going through my experience. I still do use the DT990 Pros for gaming as that's hooked up into my gaming PC directly. I do still have the Kanto YU2s for my speakers and I do plan on picking up a subwoofer for it in the near future.
Another big change for me was I did end up getting a Steam Deck. This has really changed the way that I've played PC games. I know I have a gaming PC, but the form factor of the Steam Deck is just amazing. Being able to play through a lot of the single player games that I've been meaning to play in the past, the form factor, being able to suspend, pick it up and play small gaming sessions here and there, it, it's really been great. I know it's not really setup related, but I do have it sitting on my desk and it's probably one of my favorite purchases of the last year. For my keyboard, I've been using the Frog TKL by Geonworks and I built it with the Irene Linears from Malvik Studios. Here's what this keyboard sounds like. The mice I use are still the same. It's still the Logitech MX Master 3 and the G Pro Wireless. The MX Master is getting pretty worn down, so I plan on upgrading to the 3S. The texture is starting to feel really weird in my palm. And I now also do use the 8-Bit Do Ultimate controller when I'm on my PC, as my Xbox controller ends up being used upstairs. My Epson scanner now also sits on my desk instead of the Alex drawer. On the wall behind my desk, I have two of the status pegboards in black. I keep my Quest 2 mounted here, as well as my extra controllers, keyboards, and headphones. On top of that, I do have my old shelf that I finally put back up. If you remember, this killed a monitor of mine in the past. That's basically the desk setup. And now let me go over my sim racing rig. It's still all generally the same. I'm still using the ASR3, the VRSDD, and the Husingveld sprint pedals. But the biggest change that I've made was getting the triple monitor set up. For the stand, I got the ASR triple monitor stand and the monitors on it are three Acer 32 inch 1440p 165 hertz monitors. I am also using the bezel free kit from Asus. This setup has been amazing and I honestly wish I went with a triple monitor setup from the start. Like I mentioned I am still using the same PC for gaming on my ultra wide as well as the sim racing rig and to make it easier to switch between sim racing and gaming i use display fusion i have two different profiles one for gaming with the ultra wide and then the other is gaming with the triple monitor setup i do have a different headset that i use i use the corsair hs80 which is a USB gaming headset. It sounds good enough for sim racing. To keep my extra wheels, I did end up getting this small shelf from Amazon. The wheels fit perfectly in these little squares. And that's the current state of my sim rig. I don't see myself doing any more upgrades to the sim rig, maybe getting a new wheel eventually. The biggest change that I can probably add to it is a motion setup, but I'm not planning on doing that in the near future as I'll need to get probably the ASR6, something a little bit more sturdy so I can do motion. And on the other side of the space is where I moved my TV and that's where my 3D printer sits right now. I have the Bamboo Lab P1S with the AMS. Even though it's on the pricier side, for me, it was really well worth it. I do have my TV right beside it and it's just my PlayStation 5 that's still hooked up to it. I do also have my posters up on the wall as well as all the artworks that my daughters have made me. I have artwork on the other side now as well. Since the other area was getting a bit full, I put that on the other side. I did also 3D print these huge Game Boy cartridges and I have one for Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Red. Thought it was really cool. On top of that, I have these F1 tracks, probably the, my favorite ones to drive in the sim rig that my friend printed for me before I got my own printer. And that's gonna be it for the setup tour. I know there is a lot going on in the space, so if there's something that I glanced over and you want more details on or just insight on how I use a specific product, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to make a dedicated video on that. I will have longer videos for the triple monitor upgrade as well as the Steam Deck, the audio gear, 3D printer. Um, so expect a lot more videos from me in 2024. I know 2023 has been 
a slower year for me. Uh, I was focusing more on short form content, but I do really miss making these longer videos, more in-depth videos. So expect to see a lot more content from me, hopefully in 2024. And yeah, wish you guys a happy new year and I'll catch you guys in the next one.